Um, Professor Frank, I think you're burying the lead. I think we all are, because you just mentioned life in space. And I know that you have also written about how you said we now have enough information to conclude that life on other planets has almost certainly existed. Please explain. Okay, so there are um, 10 billion trillion stars and planets out there, 10 billion trillion planets. And every one of those planets is a place where life has the experiment, nature has run experiments on the formation of life. Now we can't say for sure, we can't say for sure, we have to do the actual study. But what's amazing with that we found all these planets is that we now understand exactly where we have to look and how to look to see whether or not we are the only time in, in cosmic history that life is formed. And James Webb, the telescope, is actually giving us, is gonna give us our first views of, of these extrasolar planets, we call them, alien planets orbiting other stars. And we'll be able to see into their atmospheres and see whether or not there are compounds, molecules, that could only be produced by life. So after you know 2,000 years of people yelling at each other about whether there's life in the other life in the universe, we are now just setting sail with this telescope and the others that are going to come to actually answer humanity's most important question. I feel like this telescope is so good. We're going to see an alien pop in front of it and be like, you know, we're going to be able to actually see it. That's what I'm waiting for. I was mesmerized by the pictures. <laughs> Did you come in with that imagery? Oh.